Welcome back tonight at 10 on your side investigation 15 years in the making. In 2008, two teenage girls were attacked while walking to the bus stop. We followed the case through a long awaited arrest last October, but tonight an exclusive look inside the case from the boy, now a man wrongfully accused of the crime when he was just 16. Investigative reporter Julie Malay has the story. It was a crime that sent a shockwave of fear through a Norfolk neighborhood in 2008. Verdon Avenue was in turmoil on Wednesday after two teenage girls were sexually assaulted behind this shed. That fear abated when police made a quick arrest. What has been the biggest surprise to everyone on the block is the person arrested and accused of abducting, raping and sodomizing the girls with a gun is just 16 years old. A community's relief was a family's nightmare. I was sitting there like, what did I do? Trapped in Norfolk City Jail for two months until test results cleared Shaka Harrell's name. My lawyer came and spoke to me when I was in the holding cell today. I was so surprised. I started dancing, you know. I would go home and just lay back. The case ran cold until last October. But first, we have several breaking news stories at midday. First, Norfolk police say they have arrested a serial rapist for assaults that happened 14 years ago. 33-year-old William Phelps IV faces several charges, including rape and aggravated sexual battery. He is charged for the rape of two female teenagers who were sexually assaulted in 2008. The arrest, a relief to a now 31-year-old Shaka. I don't know the guy, I don't want to know the guy, I don't want to, I don't, I'm just glad my name clear. I saw, I ain't want nothing to do with it from the beginning of it, and it's just like, I had everything to do with it because of our false accusations. Before the break, we introduced you to Shaka Harrell. He was wrongfully accused of raping two teenage girls in 2008. DNA exonerated him, but not before the 16 year old spent two months in jail. I believe my son. Today, the family got the news they were waiting for. DNA from Shaka didn't match DNA from the girls. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I didn't, I look young. Okay, this is where it must have took place at. I didn't even know the actual place, like the shit, none of that. It's not what I want to be famous for. Hey, the kid that was accused of rape gets out. Like, I feel as though it diminished my character a little bit. Girls were sexually assaulted. That, that the whole situation changed my life. March 6, 2008, the day 16-year-old Shaka Harrell was released from a maximum security cell at Norfolk City Jail. It feel better to be outside and know that I ain't got to keep waiting. Because when you in there, all you got is time on your hands. Shaka is 31 now. He doesn't live in Norfolk anymore. There's too much stuff happening. The threats, the emails, the walking down the street, people on their porch. Yo, that's, 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 I'm like, I hear y'all. They still didn't believe after DNA. I didn't do this. He dropped out of Maury High School. Everybody who was like affiliated with the gang just focused all their attention on me. And I was like, oh, this is bad. I can't take all these dudes. <laughs> and the cop yanks me and was like, yeah, come with me and pulls me in the building and was like, yeah, how you, you think you're gonna be able to go here? But I, well, I know what happened, I know your face. I go home, I'm like, Ma, I ain't going back to school. Shaka moved to Philadelphia, trying to escape the stigma of being wrongfully accused of rape. It took me out of a good predicament where I was in Virginia to Philly, where it's just like struggle, 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 struggle. Wavy TV 10 was on the scene 15 years ago after two teenage girls were abducted and raped while walking to their bus stop on Verdun Avenue. And my niece, she was shaking. She was shaking and crying and I went and grabbed her and hugged her. Police arrested Shaka within hours. I'm like, you kidding, I ain't do this. Then that's when I think it sparked up. I'll take a DNA test. I'll take a lot of tickets. I'll take any type of test on this earth to prove I ain't do this. A Norfolk judge decided to try him as an adult. I get in jail, it was like a different world. That was the, I never seen nothing like that in my life. I had one guy fight me. I didn't even know the guy. He fought me because his mother was raped before. Back in a 2008 press release, Norfolk detectives touted Shaka's arrest as the result of a, quote, extensive investigation. These people pointed you out. This crime was committed. You're going to jail for it. The victims told police their attacker was a black male with a white t-shirt over his face. Norfolk police have specific procedures for putting together suspect lineups. Instead of following protocol, detectives showed the girls Shaka's photo. 
in his high school yearbook. Everybody look at First 48, everybody look at bad boys, cops, everybody sees stuff on TV, so we know you don't pick somebody out of a yearbook. According to the Innocence Project, mistaken eyewitness identifications contributed to about 69% of more than 375 wrongful convictions since 1989. Those wrongfully accused of crimes exonerated, like Shaka, by DNA. People get out of jail every year. Oh, DNA cleared this man. Oh, DNA cleared this man. I'm just glad this is not 10 years, 30 years, 20 years from now. Last year, Norfolk police did make a match. William Phelps' DNA and fingerprints tied him to the scene. Police say he could be responsible for other rapes in Norfolk and Chesapeake. For executive producer of Investigations, Adrian Mayfield, I'm Julie Malay, 10 on your side.